Let's take a look at problem number three. Let me get my tablet over here running. And we got x squared minus 12 is equal to 0. And it says solve quadratic equations by taking square roots. This is a square root property. And let's refresh your memory on the formula for that. The square root property says if you got something squared equals something else, and that's pretty vague, isn't it? But it really is that vague. Then you drop your squared and you put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Now, key on this is you have to have the part that's squared by itself. So in this particular problem here, I notice the part that's squared is not by itself. So I'm going to take that negative 12 and move it to the right side. So we got x squared is equal to 12. Now the entire left side squared, so we can drop our squared and put a plus or minus square root around the other side. Well, 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And with a square root, we're looking for a pair of somethings. Here's a pair of 2, so that's going to come out in front as a single 2. And we got x is equal to plus or minus 2 square root of 3, um, which would be d is in David. And let's check that. D is in David. Yep. Okay. So that's our answer.